In this video, I will be demonstrating different ways of importing files into Mobile Sheets and discussing the settings that control how files are processed during the import. The first method of importing is through the Import drop-down at the top of the library screen. This is often the simplest and fastest way to import files, particularly those stored in the cloud. To import a file that is on the device storage, tap Import, then Local File, which will display the Mobile Sheets file browser. On this screen, you can tap folders to open them and navigate through the storage of the device. The search field at the top of the screen can be used to filter the list of files, which can be useful when a folder has a significant number of files in it. To access the storage of an SD card, tap the SD card icon at the top of the screen, and then tap the entry for the SD card, which is often removable SD card 1. Once you have located the files you want to import, tap each file to select them, and then tap OK. It should be noted that only certain files can be selected when creating new songs, including PDFs, image files, and text and chord pro files. Once the files are selected, Mobile Sheets will display the Import Settings dialog. The settings displayed on this dialog can change depending on how many files are selected and the types of those files. If a single file is selected, the title that will be used for the song can be changed at the top of the dialog if desired. If the Automatically Crop Pages checkbox is enabled, then all of the pages in all of the imported files will be cropped to eliminate margins. This can be a very time-consuming process if a large number of pages are being imported. Additional metadata can be entered in the fields on the dialog, but be aware that all of this metadata will be applied to every song that is created during the import. Tap OK to continue, and Mobile Sheets will display the results of the import, and new songs will be shown on the library screen. If one of the cloud options, such as Google Drive, is selected from the import dropdown, Mobile Sheets will prompt the user to log into their cloud service, and then files will be displayed in the file browser in the same manner as described earlier. In the Android version of Mobile Sheets, the current cloud service can be changed in the file browser by tapping the cloud icon, and then tapping on the desired service in the list. If a large number of files need to be imported at once, it is often much easier to use the Batch Import feature in Mobile Sheets. To access this, tap Import and then Batch Import. On the Batch Import screen, tap the folder icon to browse for the folder containing the files to import. By default, all files in the folder will be processed, but a file filter can be applied to limit which files are imported if needed. For example, to import all PDFs, change the file filter to star.pdf. With the default settings, Mobile Sheets will scan not only the selected folder, but all subdirectories as well. This behavior can be changed by unchecking the Scan All Subdirectories for Files checkbox. The Avoid Duplicate Songs checkbox controls whether Mobile Sheets will ignore files that have already been imported into the library. If Mobile Sheets encounters files that are different versions of files that have already been imported, and the Update Songs if Matching Files are Found setting is enabled, Mobile Sheets will update songs in the library to use the newer versions of those files. Otherwise, a conflict dialog will be displayed so that a decision can be made for how the file should be handled. A separate video covers populating metadata from directories due to the complexity of that feature. After tapping Start, Mobile Sheets will scan the selected directory for files to import, and the files have been processed, the import results will be displayed. Under the Import menu, there is also an option called Batch Audio Import. This feature will create new blank songs to store imported audio files. This does not add audio files to existing songs in the library, as that has to be done through the song editor, which we will discuss later. 
The batch audio import feature is mainly useful for users that want to use Mobile Sheets for categorization of audio files without accompanying PDFs, images, or text files. Another very powerful feature in Mobile Sheets is the option to import CSV or PDF bookmarks under the Import menu. This feature allows a large PDF to be split into many songs in the library by using a CSV file to specify the names and pages for each song. A separate video is available that discusses this feature in detail. The last option in the import menu that will be discussed is the System File Browser. This option opens Google's File Picker application, which presents a unified interface for selecting files. This file picker can import files through other applications on the device, which can be useful when importing from a cloud service that isn't currently integrated in Mobile Sheets. Tapping on any file in Google's file picker will import that file into Mobile Sheets. Multiple files can be selected by first long pressing on a file, tapping each file to select them, and finally tapping select at the top right corner. When importing PDFs or text files through one of the methods that have been demonstrated in this video, Mobile Sheets will always create a separate song per PDF. When importing image files, a different set of rules is used to determine how to group them. An option named Join Imported Images with Similar Names can be found on the main settings screen under the Import Settings section. When this setting is enabled, Mobile Sheets will combine multiple image files into a single song if they all share the same file name except for a number at the end. This provides a convenient way to group images into a single song without having to use the song editor. I will now demonstrate how multiple image files are joined. I will begin by importing three files with similar names from a directory. After accepting the import settings, a new song is created. If we edit that song, We can see that all three files have been added to the song, and we can turn pages to view each file. Another important option is the automatically add matching audio setting. When files are being imported, Mobile Sheets will search for audio files with the same file names to automatically add them to the songs being created. For example, if test.pdf is imported, and a test.mp3 file exists in the same directory, Mobile Sheets will automatically add the mp3 file to the same song as the PDF. This can save a great deal of time when importing files and is recommended for users that want to pair audio files with their PDFs, images, or text files. I will now demonstrate importing a file that is matching audio. In this example, I have a PDF named fantasyimpromptu.pdf and an audio file in the same directory named fantasyimpromptu.mp3. When the PDF is imported and a song is created, we can immediately see that an audio file has been added to the song by the audio icon that is shown on the right side of the screen. If we edit the song, we can see the audio track is listed on the audio tab. While the import options that have been discussed meet the needs of most users, there are situations where more control is needed over how files are imported and grouped in songs. For these situations, the song editor must be utilized. The song editor can be accessed by either tapping the New option at the top of the Songs tab, or by selecting a song and tapping Edit Song at the top of the library screen. On the Files tab of the Song Editor, the Add button can be tapped to find many of the same options present on the main library screen, such as importing from the device storage, the cloud, or the system file browser. It is also possible to add blank pages to a song, which can be useful when inserting placeholders to be replaced at a later time. If multiple PDFs or images are selected, they will all be added to the song being created or edited. Files can be reordered as needed by dragging them up or down in the files list. 
it is not currently possible to combine PDFs or images with text or chord profiles, so a separate song must be used for each text or chord profile. If the camera icon is tapped, pictures can be taken with the device camera and imported directly into the current song. This can be useful if a dedicated scanner is not available. Lastly, if the Compose icon is tapped, which is only visible when no files are present in the song, a new text or chord profile can be created and edited in the Mobile Sheets text editor. A separate video covers the text editor in more detail. To add an audio file to a song, go to the Audio tab in the Song Editor and tap the Add icon. Like other file types, audio files can be imported from the device storage, the cloud, or through the system file browser. Any number of audio files can be added to a single song and played back through the audio player. If desired, the settings icon can be tapped at the top of the screen to enable the populate metadata when importing audio setting. This will populate various fields in the song based on the metadata in the audio files being imported, such as the title, artists, albums, genres, and years. One other method of importing that should be discussed is opening files from external applications and using mobile sheets to process those files. An example of this is tapping a file in an external file manager or email client and selecting the option to open the file with mobile sheets. If a default application has been selected for a particular file type, then that application will always be used, which prevents the file from being opened in mobile sheets. The default application needs to be cleared than device settings in order for mobile sheets to be used to open the file. On Windows, files can be dragged and dropped on the library screen to import them. One of the benefits of having so many different options for importing is that users can pick and choose the best options to meet their needs, as the best method for importing can be different in each situation. Thank you for watching. To find more tutorial videos, click the links below or visit www.zubersoft.com. There are videos covering both basic features in mobile sheets, as well as more advanced topics like MIDI.